Hi everyone! For today's lesson, we will learn about the step-by-step -step way of writing a report of a static bar graph. A separate lesson will discuss a dynamic bar graph. This lesson is divided into four parts. First, what is a static bar graph? Writing an introduction, overview, and body bar graphs of static bar graphs. Before moving on, let's review the IELTS Writing Task 1 band descriptors, especially the four areas to consider in writing a report. Task Achievement, Coherence and Cohesion, Lexical Resource, and Grammatical Range and Accuracy. We will only focus on band 9 down to 6. In this lesson, however, we will compare a band 6 answer into a band 9, for you to know how to approach IELTS Academic Writing Task 1 and ACE in your writing performance. Let us also check the Band 9 standard structure for IELTS Writing Task 1. The report is composed of four paragraphs. An introduction, where you have to paraphrase the question statement. Write an overview, means write a general overview of the main features. Body Paragraph 1, where you write in detail about Feature 1 in a logical way, and Body 2, where you write in detail about Feature 2 in a logical way. What is a static graph? This is a graph with no time referred to, has a fixed time, and main features are the largest and the smallest, and similarities. What to write in the introduction? You just have to paraphrase the question statement of the graph. Paraphrase means you have to reword the sentence without changing the thought or its meaning. You can make use of synonyms, change the word form, or the sentence structure of the sentence. You can watch our video on the basic structure for graph if you want to learn those strategies in detail. A link is provided below this video. Remember that you have a band 9 introduction if you can successfully paraphrase the question statement. Let's study these two introductions. The chart below shows the different levels of post-school qualification in Australia and the proportion of men and women who held them in 1999. Band 6 Introduction The chart shows the different levels of post-school qualification in Australia by gender in the year 1999. Note that in the first introduction, the writer used the same words used in the heading. And important information is missing. The writer copied the word shows and phrase different levels. Additionally, the introduction lacks the information who held them. Band 9 Introduction The chart gives information about post-school qualification in terms of the different levels of further education reached by men and women in Australia in 1999. In the second example, it is a band 9 introduction because paraphrasing was used effectively, without omitting information from the original heading. Note that the writer changed the word shows to give information, the post school to further education, and who held them to reach by men and women. Now let us take a look at our chart and understand what to write in an overview. If you look at the chart, in red is the female and in gray is the male. Here, the highest is obviously in the category Skilled Vocational Diploma and male-dominated disqualification. In the same category, female got the least. Additionally, you will also notice that more women have undergraduate diploma than male, and more male have the postgraduate diploma and master's degree. Okay, so those are the key features. So what else to write? If you look at the graph, are there more red or gray? Well, we can see more gray, right? Okay, so this is our overview. Overall, there were substantial differences in the proportion of men who reach a higher level of education than women. This is given as there are more gray than red. Then more men than women held qualifications at the lower and higher levels of education, while more women than men reached undergraduate diploma level in 1999 are the key features of our graph. To be awarded with a band 7 to 9 in your test achievement, 
Be sure to make your overview clear by following the given checklist in our earlier video about the basic structure of writing graphs. A link is provided below for your reference. Let's study these two given overviews. It can be seen that Mayo was more dominated in three of qualifications, namely master's degree, postgraduate diploma, and skilled vocational diploma than female, while female achieved in other levels. In the first overview, Although the writer attempted to compare the highest and the lowest figures in the graph, the writer made several mistakes. You will notice that there was a mistake in the use of the word dominated and achieved. The year was not included, plus one key feature was not addressed. Overall, there were substantial differences in the proportion of men and women at different levels. More men than women held qualifications at the lower and higher levels of education, while more women than men reached undergraduate diploma level in 1999. In the second overview, it is a band 9 overview, an excellent overview. This skillfully incorporates parts of the rubric, changing the grammatical function to give a brief summary of the given chart. It clearly describes the key features of the graph which are the highest and the lowest figures of the graph, mentioned the year, and made use of comparative language. In the given example, these are our key vocabulary for comparing the figures, substantial differences, more than, and while. Moving on to the body paragraphs, the body is where you will write the detailed description of your overview. Here, you are being tested on organization and use of paragraphing. So you have to divide your details into two paragraphs. Write logically and it should be easy for the reader or the reader to follow. In writing a report for a static bar, being able to compare and contrast data is an essential skill for IELTS writing. In writing your comparison, you need to give the data or the figures. If your detail is not supported by data, you will get 5 in your task achievement. So, it only means that you have to support your sentence with numbers to get a band 9. However, please know that you cannot use long list of numbers as it will confuse the reader. In grouping your data in a static bar, you have several ways. Let us take a look at our example. One way is to describe the highest and the lowest in your first body paragraph and write about the second highest and similar figures in your second body paragraph. Another way is to divide it by gender. This means that you will compare the male highest figure to female, and your body too will describe about the female highest figure and compare it to male. For our body paragraph today, we will use the letter. Let's study in detail what makes a body paragraph a band 9 a band 9. I provided two samples, one got a band 9 while the other is awarded with a band 6. Let us see the difference. Let us check band 6 report first. According to the given chart, the percentages of male in skilled vocational diploma more strongly higher than female, where male was almost 90% compared to women with only 10%. Yet, women achieved 70% in undergraduate diploma qualification while twice the higher percentage than men. Moreover, while the number of males is fewer, female rule in bachelor's degree percentages. Also, the bar graph shows that men dominated most of qualifications like postgraduate diploma and master's degree, which both of them collects over 50%, while women in two of the qualifications below 50%. In addition, male finished vocational diploma, postgraduate diploma, and master's degree more than female did, and female more achieve of other qualifications. Also, many females finished their bachelor's degree, but the next of the two levels, their qualification were decreased, which is dominated by male. Why band 6? There is good coverage of the main feature and a brief reference to contrasting features of the graph. There is, however, some information missing. In the second paragraph, the writer did not include the percentages in describing the bachelor's degree. In order to gain a higher mark for content, the candidate would be expected to select the main features of the graph and comment primarily on these. The answer can be followed, although it is rather repetitive. Cohesive devices are overused. You will notice that the writer used transitional words 
in each of the sentences in the second and third paragraph. Additionally, the word also was used twice in the report. There are some errors in tense. Look at the word compare and rule. Each should be compared and ruled. Word form and appropriate choice of words like more strongly higher could be simplified into higher. The phrase which the twice and more achieved to are not used correctly. And the spelling like achieved, undergraduate, qualification, and decrease, which seems to be trivial but interferes slightly with the flow of the answer. Sentences are long but lack complexity and variation. A good example can be seen in the last two sentences of the second and the third paragraphs. There was a significant difference between the proportions of males and females in skilled vocational diploma, with the former standing first with 90% and the latter with 10%. At the higher levels of education, men with postgraduate diploma clearly outnumber their female counterparts, 70% and 30% respectively. Australian men constituted 60% of master's graduates, while the contribution of females was two-thirds of that number. Women ranked first in bachelor's degree accounting for 55%, whereas the share of men was lower by a narrow margin of 45%. Although women in Australia had the highest share, which makes up for 70% in acquiring an undergraduate diploma, men contributed approximately 35%. Why band 9? This response fully satisfies the requirements of the task. All key features of the chart were appropriately and accurately presented. Comparison was made use properly and sufficiently. In the report, you will find words like significant differences between and outnumbered. Figures were given to support the given features. They were highlighted in pink. The message is very easy to read with seamless cohesion that attracts no attention. Paragraphing, linking, and referencing were all skillfully managed. Notice the use of while, although, and were asked to connect sentences, and the use of with the former and the latter to avoid repetition. The language use was very fluent and sophisticated. A wide range of vocabulary was used. The use of standing first, counterpart, the share of, makes up for, and contributed show the variety of vocabulary used in the report. Sentence structures are used with full flexibility and accuracy. Complex sentence structures are evident. Notice that there are only five sentences, three for the first body paragraph and two for the next, and they show the variety of sentence structure. Now this is our band 9 essay for the given bar graph. You can pause the video and take time to read our model answer to give you an idea of what a band 9 essay is. The chart gives information about post-school qualification in terms of different levels of further education reached by men and women in Australia in 1999. Overall, there were substantial differences in the proportion of men and women at different levels. More men than women held qualifications at the lower and higher levels of education while more women than men reached undergraduate diploma level in 1999. There was a significant difference between the proportions of male and females in skilled vocational diploma, with the former standing first with 90% and the latter with 10%. At the higher levels of education, men with postgraduate diplomas clearly outnumber their female counterparts, 70% and 30% respectively. Australian men constituted 60% of master's graduates, while the contribution of females was two-thirds of that number. Women ranked first in bachelor's degree accounting for 55%, whereas the share of men was lower by a narrow margin of 45%. Although women in Australia had the highest share, which makes up for 70% in acquiring an undergraduate diploma, men contributed approximately 35%. I hope this has enlightened you on how to write a band 9 report for a static bar graph in IELTS Academic Writing Task 1. Now, this brings us to the end of our lesson. Please subscribe to our channel to be updated to all our upcoming video lessons. If you find it useful, please press like, and if you have questions, please put it under the video. 
Thank you.